once again, this could be. Sure. It's, uh, we're excited to uh, get a win against a really fine football team last weekend, and it's good to be back in the quarterfinals again for the first time in a long time. Um, you know, the, the fact that uh, we have a short week of preparation coupled with uh, the fact that it's finals week will be uh, difficult in terms of our preparation, but I expect our guys to lock in, find a way to overcome that. Um, Playing a team the second time in a year is, is always uh, a challenge. Uh, in reviewing our last game with, with Weber State, I didn't think we played particularly well. So um, we need to play better than last time in order to win this game. We need to execute better uh, and really just need to go out and, and play our, our best game of the season. So. Um, you know, that's kind of what it is. When you say you didn't play that well against Purdue last time, did that sort of specifically make it hard for us? Uh, we paper made a ton, ton of mistakes and didn't execute very cleanly, I didn't think. Any specific uh, things that you realize that's offensively uh, specifically? Well, there's a hundred things. We don't have, I mean, I'm not going to stay here that long. So. <laughs> Given that it was a short week, what do you sort of, or how do you sort of prepare? Is that just what you did in preparation? Well, short week, we'll just try to get ahead a day, starting today, and then hopefully as we wind the week into the game, it'll, the countdown will be uh, identical to, to a normal week. So today we'll kind of skip Monday and go to Tuesday. Given the fact that you didn't start the game early and took so long to go, can you say why you have such a doubt about that right now, or how much does that change? Uh, well, you don't have to go back. We've already watched all their games in all three phases. So um, we don't have as much film to get through in, in terms of data collection, things like that. So that saves time. You know, it's uh, more like uh, in terms of the volume, it's more like having a, uh, you know, week three or some week four type volume of film to get through, I guess. What strengths what remain? remain? remain. Well, I mean, we're, I mean, we're we're both the the same two teams. So, I mean, nothing. Not, it's not like it's uh, there's been a bunch of influx of players or new coaching staff or anything like that over the last three weeks. So, I mean, we're the same two teams. I think both teams are uh, sound, if not better than that, in all three phases of the game. Um, we have the things that we like to do. They have the things that they like to do. And I mean, you'll have some, uh, you will want to do some different things in the game. Uh, it'll be a different prep for us in terms of um, what we want to do in the game. And, and schematically, some of the things we're doing will be different. We can't just go in with the same game plan or anything like that. Um, no, I don't prefer that at all. Um, I think it's uh, generally pretty hard to beat a team twice, actually. What about when you played Weaver? You know, you did how good the quarterback was, of course, in the game. And they appeared to be dominant. You just couldn't beat them. How can you go about that and just create that routine? Oh, I think you just go play. I, we aren't we aren't. A, we don't change anything week to week. I mean, we just go play. We are we are who we are. Um, so we just got we just got to go play. And we what we need to do is we have to uh, again play more cleanly. We need to execute better. We've got to play better. Uh, I didn't know that that we'd scored more than anybody else. That was that's news. Good, I suppose. Um, the second part of that is what whatever. What was? It? What do you think they're going to try and do? Well, I don't know. If you can find that out, that'd be great information to have. 
So that'd be awesome. That'd be <laughs> call him and ask him because <laughs> he isn't picking up my calls. <laughs> I tried to call him this morning and ask him how they're going to change. So I don't know. Um, uh, I don't, you know, I don't really know. Um, you know, I think you just games, there's no two games ever evolve or play out alike. So you just kind of roll with what transpires. Uh, I don't even think it's productive to go into a game and plan for anything like that. So again, I think it goes down to, uh, or comes down to a team, if you're going to have success this time of year, you have to go execute, you have to play well, everybody's good. Uh, so we need, we need improvement. That's our goal every week, but it's important this time of year to go and play well, because if you don't play well, you're not going to win. I don't know. It just is. I've done it five times in my career, so it's hard. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe it's because we're dealing with 18 to 22-year-olds and they don't want to listen after they beat somebody. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I, I don't know. We'll try not to. We'll try not to be. Uh, we've got to go play our, our best game. We've got to play better than we did the last time that we played Weber, and we need to execute. Well, I think they'll be ready for the stuff we did well, so we need to change a bit. And I think that'll be what they're working on this week. I don't know. I, that that's kind of along the crystal ball lines of what they're going to do to change up. I, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, win this week. Um, well, I only get my votes, so I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. You know, it's interesting how. Uh, we name an all-conference team when the coaches vote on it, and they haven't seen half the teams in the league. So, hell, I don't know. They don't have to travel. No. I think night games suck. <laughs> I'm honest today. I'm telling the truth today. Good. <laughs> I hate them. I think college football is a day game, a Saturday afternoon game. You mentioned it's vital to school. What sort of mental focus does that put guys on? Well, I hope they can do it. It's generally a bad thing for us academically. You know, if, if we asked you, you're given a choice, you're going to prepare for your accounting final, or you're going to watch football film, which one would you do? And we so we've got to work hard on our schoolwork, and it's been hard on our GPAs in the past. What's, what's the plan for the play of the Super Bowl series and the last one? Uh, this, we had an eight o'clock kickoff game at Oregon. We'll use the same plan. As you get deeper into the playoffs, as the night start to mount, how do you think that'll affect your mental? Well, I think there's pressure every week here to win, so I don't think things change for us. Uh, well, you know, again, we're pretty immersed in game prep, so we don't get much time to reflect on it. That's kind of more for y'all. But anytime, I would say, anytime you're breaking a record that Randy Moss sent in what year, 96, so my math would say 23 or 4 years ago, um, you probably did something pretty special.
Well, I think it's great for the state of Montana. I think it's great for the University of Montana. I think it's a big deal. Anytime that we can play, um, you know, our football program's the most visible thing at this university. And anytime that we can get national exposure, I think it's great for this university. I do. All of them. Played the same team twice, five times. It's it's really kind of unusual in college football, right. you know. Um, it's just not common. I coached a long time. I asked our staff this morning who'd done it. Not very only, only really only the guys that were kind of part of our staff here, and then I don't know somebody else had done it one other time. But it's really unusual. All right, guys. See ya.